What's going on, everybody? Crazy opening part of the video there. Want to do it a little bit different this time. So, guy burns his F1 cards. I mean, I really had to read a lot into this because I didn't know, like, if the race car driver's name is Carlos Sainz. I didn't know if he pulled, like, a Henry Ruggs, O.J. Simpson, or was it just, like, a LeBron thing and he switched teams? I mean, to burn some of the high-end... Well, I don't know how what this guy sells for, but I guess this guy's a high-end collector, Jeff. He came from the crypto world, um, from what I'm understanding in this post, and he joined the F1 uh, community. I guess he's uh, found buying almost all high-end Ferrari cards. And his account, I guess, shows a lot of it on uh, Instagram. So, I don't know. I don't watch F1, guys, so I don't know. if I thought there was, like, all kind of drama to this show. You know, kind of like a Beverly Hills 90210 or some crazy stuff like that. And really, when I re read this, I was kind of surprised. But during the Austrian Grand Prix, Carlos Sainz had engine issues and was forced to retire the race from a burning car. <clears throat> so basically, I'm like, wow, he torched his cars because the guy didn't finish a race. So I guess he just went off on social media for the hatred of this guy. And there's a bunch of other posts. I had to black out some stuff onto here because otherwise we'll get flagged by YouTube. But I mean, he had posts that says, well, roll this card. It was a, I guess, a Ferrari card. Um, when the rat signs is dead. And then there was the post you see in front of you. It talks about such a bad day for Ari fans. This rat hasn't been burnt to death. Well, you imagine the word in between. And I'm like, wow, these dudes take it really personally. I mean, I know a lot of, like, real big sports guys. And, you know, they get upset when their teams lose. I mean, I moved to Kentucky and UK lost in the finals. These guys are out there burning couches in the middle of the road and stuff. Never seen stuff like that before, you know, from that stuff. But, you know, that might have been just, you know, my little neck of the woods when I grew up and moved around a lot. Just never seen stuff like it. But to burn the cards over, just insane. I mean, wow. <laughs> that, you know, pretty much that's the gist of what I'm getting on the story. But just to sit there and burn your cards or torch them and just post videos of it, then have all kind of messages like this. I mean, I'm sure stuff probably is flagged on Instagram for it. It says he pulled posts down. I think some of it might have been taken down because, woo, he has some pure hatred. I mean, took like the whole bottle of hate pills. Huh. Boy, anyhow... I just thought it was going to be something interesting. Maybe you guys know a little bit more on it. I don't know if you guys seen the video. I mean, we've seen guys burn cards like Vegas Dave before. We've seen people cut up cards, rip cards. I know guys, every time they pull Henry Ruggs out of the pack on the camera, rip it right there on camera. So craziness has happened before. Uh, very, a lot of craziness. But that's all for today, everybody. I will be back tomorrow with another video. If you guys know more on the Carlos Sainz thing about the burning of these cards, I mean, other than what I've read here and found online, please go ahead and put it below. If there be something different, starting off Monday, burning some F1 cards. All right, guys, take care of a good one. Catch you guys next video.